hello, welcome to Literary Life. So it is my favorite day when my page one box arrives and I will be sharing this unboxing with you. Um, if you are not familiar, page one is a customized book subscription. I have years of unboxing videos probably up on this channel. Um, so you, I will definitely uh, link one at least below for you to check out. But we can see inside, uh, page one has a couple of goodies they share, but the big item is the book, because that's what it's about, right? It looks like we have some really cute, are these coasters? By publicschoolpaper.com out of Denver, Colorado. And it's got the page one logo here. Let me get this up here for you to see, um, with some fun little graphics around that logo. Um, that is really cute. I, I love my coasters. <laughs> we know that. We have a page one sticker. Um, for those of you that may actually still have a social life, these are awesome when you um, essentially have company if you do that. Um, okay, so page one, we have the little card. I'm going to read this it says, I have only to break into the tightness of a strawberry, and I see summer, it's dust in lowering skies, by Toni Morrison. A fresh bowl of strawberries, a cool drink with a cool coaster, and a good book make for the most perfect summer day ever. Here's to many happy days reading outdoors. Oh, that is so nice. I love, I love reading outdoors with a nice cool drink. Okay, in the summer. And then, of course, this is their guarantee on the back. So if you already have the book or you read and don't like the book, they will replace it for you. So I have two subscriptions with page one. Um, so every book you can see comes beautifully wrapped. And then I can't do it from the reflection. I have a bookmark. Um, every bookmark has the page one logo on one side. Um, and then on the other, we have a quote, once you learn to read, you will be forever free by Frederick Douglass. Okay, let's put that box to the side. This is my favorite moment when you just unwrap the book. Um, I love the fact that it's customized for you and your taste. When you sign up for your subscription, you can tell them what you're looking for. So my one subscription is just based on my taste. I, I love the variety and just exploring things. But I have a second subscription that was specifically asking for books by authors outside of the United States and Canada. Um, and so one of these books will be that. And then one of them is my general subscription. Um, but I love the fact that you can kind of customize as well if you want to. Ooh, I do not know this book, but I love the cover, The Breaking of a Wave. And I love that title by Fabio Geno Geno Genovesi, I'm gonna say, probably mispronouncing that. Um, so the, what is it about? 13 year old Luna lives in a small town on the coast of Tuscany. She is smart. I don't think I read a book in Italy by an Italian author in quite a long time. She is smart and funny and a bit of an outsider. She is also albino. Luna is devoted to her brother Luca, a handsome, energetic teenager whose most ardent desire is to go on a surfing trip uh, to Biarritz, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that, with his friends. Getting approval from his mother, Serena, would be impossible if it were not for the help of Sandro, a hapless teacher in search of a student's approval. Luca's trip, however, takes a tragic turn, casting a shadow over his family and the small town in which they live. Oh. This is so up my alley, is it not? Um, the grieving Luna makes a new friend and ally, a peculiar boy from, uh, I can hear it in my head and I'm not gonna be able to pronounce it, Chernobyl, 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 I'm not even close. I swear to God, I do have some sort of, like something is broke in my mouth. Um, and I can hear it in my head, I just can't get it out. By the name of Zot. Ironic that I decided to, anyway, <laughs> to do YouTube videos, right, and talk in public. The two children are considered eccentrics by their schoolmates. Luna believes that Luca still speaks to her through objects washed up by the nearby shore, a whalebone she covets, and a wooden statue made by the ancient moon worshippers of the Lu Luna Gianni. Zat speaks like an elderly professor and dresses like one too. I love quirky characters. Oh my God, this 
book is text like checking all my boxes uh, favorites. In this prize-winning novel, Fabio Genovesi alternates between comedy, tragedy, and deep emotion. Oh, sounds so good. You guys, I, I, I just love, I love the surprises. Um, he tells the story of an unforgettable young girl in the world around her that is populated by endearing adult oddballs, each of them in search of comfort, understanding, and love. That sounds amazing. I do not have a photo of the author, but he was born in Italy in 1974. That was the year I was born. Great year. Great year. Um, he's been translated. The book in over 10, or his writing has been translated in over 10 languages. And uh, the, it looks like there's another author um, that maybe did the translation. And um, he's the winner of a 2012 Yale series of Younger Poets Award. Oh my God, this sounds so good. I am really excited about this book. I am really excited about this book. And this book is hefty. It's about 460 pages. And you know what? I don't care. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna tear it up. I'm gonna, maybe I'll take a weekend and I'll get my cold drink and I'll use my coaster. I am really excited. I mean, what? Like, reading outside kind of needs to be done with, like, wine and sangria. Um, if you're going to be in Italy in a book, right? Totally needs to be done. Okay, don't know this one. The Museum of Modern Love. Look at that. I cannot believe, for as much as I read, that they can still surprise me. This is a novel inspired by Marina Abramovic. Heather, and it's written by Heather Rose. Archie Levin has reached a dead end. Unexpectedly separated from his wife, he suddenly has a space he needs to work composing film scores, but none of the peace of mind he needs to create. As he wanders the city, guilty and restless, it's almost by chance that he stumbles upon an exhibition that will change his life. The installation the fictional Archie discovers, which is based on a real piece of performance art that took place in 2010, is inexplicably powerful. Visitors to the Museum of Modern Art sit across from a table from the performance artist Marina Abramovic for as short or long a period as they choose. Although some go in skeptical, almost all leave moved, and the participants are not the only ones to find themselves changed by this unusual experience. He returns day after day to watch other people sit with Abramovic, and as he does, he begins to understand what he might be missing in his life and what he must do. <gasps> okay, this see, both of these qualify. This author was born in Australia in 1964. Her novels have been shortlisted or won awards for literary fiction, crime fiction, and children's fantasy. Um, this is her seventh novel, and it won the Christina Stead Prize and the Stella Prize. And it's her first novel for adults published in the U.S. How cool is that? And this one is much shorter. So I will definitely, this would be like such a great book to read in one day. I love that subject. So it's like just under 300 pages. You guys, see, and I've got to wait a whole month, but that gives me time. I have plenty to read. I just love this subscription. I just love it. I have never heard of either of these books. And they both are quality literature. Like, that's a big thing for me. I ended so many subscriptions because I just, I don't need to love the book every time, but it, this is such a reliable subscription, you guys. I just, I cannot rave enough. Um, so, yeah, there you have it. So, if you've read these books, let me know below what you thought without spoilers. <laughs> I'm so excited to read both of them. Um, I just love it. I absolutely just love it. What a fun subscription service. Okay, I need to move on. Um, yeah, I'll have a link for you below if you want to check out page one. And if you do, let me know what you get. I love seeing all the different books. And if you decide to play with your subscription and put in some requirements, let me know what those are too. Because I'm already thinking when the one ends after, I think I did once a year, once six months. But when the six month ends, I'm thinking I'm going to do like an LGBTQ um, focused six months and then I'm already like oh and then what else do I want to do like I've had so many different um thoughts about stuff I want to explore through literature if you have good ideas for me too pop them below because yeah you know I, I'm gonna be renewing and maybe continuing multiple subscriptions with them too so 
<laughs> there you have it. It's a problem, right? It, it's, it's maybe a problem. All right. I'll move on. Let me go. <laughs> Let me go read. You go read. Let's go read. Happy reading.